Hey, good morning, everybody. It's so good to see you again. And this story is found in the same place, Luke chapter 15, starting about verse 10. But I'm going to read it from one of my favorite um, books, the Jesus Storybook Bible. Jesus told this story about a boy who ran away. Once upon a time, there was a boy and his dad. Now, one day the boy gets to thinking, maybe if I didn't have my dad around telling me what is good for me all the time, I'd be happier. He's spoiling my fun, he thinks. Does my dad really want me to be happy? Does he even really love me? The son never thought of that before, but suddenly he's not sure anymore. So the son goes to his father and says, Dad, I'm better off without you. I can look after myself. Just give me my share of your money. His father is sad, but he won't force his boy to stay with him. So he gives his son what he wants. The son takes the money and goes on a long, long journey to a far off country. And everything's wonderful and perfect for a while. He can go wherever he wants, do whatever he wants, be whoever he wants. He's the boss and he thinks he's free. Sometimes he gets a strange, hungry, homesick feeling inside his heart, but then he just eats more or drinks more or buys more clothes or more party, goes to more parties until it all goes away. Here's a picture. But soon his money runs out, and so do his friends. He ends up getting the only job he can find, feeding pigs. One day he is so hungry and so desperate, he even tries some of the piggy food. What am I doing, he says suddenly, as if he has woken from a nightmare. He spits, yuck, all of it, yuck, out of his mouth. My father is rich, and here I am in a pigsty, eating piggy food. He wipes his mouth and dusts himself off. I'm going home. There he is. Can you see him there? Right down there with the pigs, rutting for the food. As he starts for home, though, he begins to worry. Dad won't love me anymore. I've been too bad. He won't want me for a son anymore. I'm still smelly and I stink. So he practices his I'm sorry speech. But all this time, what the boy didn't know was that day after day, his dad had been standing on the front porch, straining his eyes, looking and waiting for his son to come home. He just can't stop loving his son. He longs for the sound of his boy's voice, and he can't be happy until he gets him back. The son is still a long way off, but his dad sees him coming. What will his dad do? Fold his arms and frown and shout, that'll teach you, just you wait, young man. No, that's not how the story goes. The dad leaps off the porch, races down the hill, through the gap in the hedge, up the road. Before his son can even begin his I'm sorry speech, his dad runs to him, throws his arms around him, and can't stop kissing him. There's the dad. Let's have a party, his dad shouts. My boy is home. He ran away. I lost him, but now I have him back. His dad didn't care that he was all smelly. In fact, his dad got him a brand new coat to wear and a robe and put clean clothes on him right over his dirty, dirty clothes that he had worn to feed the pigs with. Then Jesus told the crowd that he was telling a story to God is like the dad who couldn't stop loving his boy. And you people are like the son who said, 
Does my dad really want me to be happy? Jesus told people this story to show them what God is like and to show people what they are like. So they could know however far they ran, however well they hid, however lost they were, it wouldn't matter because God's children could never run too far or be too lost for God to find them.